look at the tutta. Okay, so the tutta is actually about the differences. That is means that when you see infinity minus infinity. So when you see infinity minus infinity, that is the time you apply the algebra manipulations. So let's just look at the first example. So the first example says that you have the x approaches to pi over 2 from the left. So you have the tangent x minus secant x. So tangent pi over 2 is actually equal to infinity. Secant pi over 2 is actually equal to infinity. So you will have the case of infinity minus infinity. So that means that you have to do some algebra manipulations such that you can solve them. So the algebra manipulations means that you can change the tangent x into sine x over cos sine x. And then you have the secant x. The secant x is actually equal to 1 over cosine x. So you can see that we have the same denominator for both fractions. So what you have to do is you can do, you can group into one fraction, right? So you can group them. So you will have sine minus x at the denominator. The denominator just have the conditions group them because you have the same denominator. Then let's just see what happens if we substitute the pi over 2 inside. So you will see that sine pi over 2 will give you 1. So you have 1 minus 1 is actually 0. And you have cos pi over 2. Cos pi over 2 is actually 0. And you have 0 over 0. So 0 over 0 is under indeterminate equation. So indeterminate equation means that you can apply for Peter. But Peter rule says that you can differentiate the numerator and the denominator. If you differentiate the numerator, sine x will give you cos x. Minus 1 is actually 0. And how about the cos? If you differentiate the cos, you have minus sine. And you do the substitution, then we have cos pi over 2 is actually 0. Sine pi over 2 is negative 1. And the result, the result is 0. Now let's just look at the second example. You have 1 over x minus 1 over sine. So if you substitute 0 into here, so you will have 1 over 0. 1 over 0 is give you infinity. And you have sine 0. Sine 0 is 0. So you have 1 over 0. So, so you have infinity. So you have the case of infinity minus infinity. So if you have the case of infinity minus infinity, so what you have to do is you have to do some algebra manipulation. So means that you have to multiply sine x, sine x for the first fractions. For the second fractions, you will multiply x and x. So just that you can group the group them. And it's just that they can have the same denominator, you can group them, and you have the second line. So if you substitute 0 into them, so you will see the case of 0 over 0. So 0 over 0 is actually, that is the form that you can apply the Lopito. So Lopito says that you have to do differentiation at the top and differentiation at the bottom. So if you differentiate the numerator that is actually very easy to do. How about the second, uh, the denominator part? The denominator part that is you have to use for that rule. Okay, because you have the x and sine x, so that is the time you apply the product rule. So then you have the third line. So sine x, you have cos x, and minus x will give you minus 1. And this is differentiate by using product rule. So you have x cos x plus sine x. Now we substitute 0 inside, so you have the case of 0 over 0. So 0 over 0, you have to apply log Peter rule one more time. So when you apply log Peter rule one more time, be careful with this, because this is the part that you can apply product rule one more time. So let's just apply log Peter rule. So you differentiate cos, you have minus sign. You differentiate minus 1, you have 0. So this part, you're going to differentiate by using the product rule. So you have this two. And you differentiate, you have cos x. So you group these two cos together. Okay, so you have two cos. Then let's just see what happens if we substitute 0 inside. So sine 0 is give you 0. So this is 0. And this is sine 0. This is actually 0 here. And you have cos 0. Cos 0 is 1. So 2 multiply with 1 is 2, so you, at the end you have the answer 0. So I want you to try 
to get the line number three and line number four by yourself. Pause this video for a while. Pause this video for a while and see whether you can get the line number three and number four by using the product rule. Now we go for the third number four where you have a limit x approaches to a and you have function f of function g. Okay. So uh, then you later you come across the form of indeterminate power where you have 1 power of infinity, 0 power of 0, and infinity power of 0. So when you see uh, one of the form appear, so that is the time you have to apply the logarithm technique. So begin with it. So you have to let y equal to your function. And then you have y equal to f power of g. Then ln both sides. So if you ln both sides, what happens is you have ln y here. And the g you have to bring forward. Okay, so you bring 2 in front. So you have g at the front. And you have ln f. Then you apply the limit to the both sides. And then you solve the right hand side. And you have some k here. And then don't leave your asymptom of long y. So exponent, okay, apply exponent to the both side. Then you have y at the left hand side and you have e power x at the right hand side. And then remember our y is actually this function. So change the y back. So you have the answer. Let's just look at the first example. So under this first example, so what you have here is you have x approach to the 0 from the right hand side. So if you substitute the 0 here and you substitute the 0 here, so you have a result of 1 power of infinity. So 1 power of infinity, that is the indeterminate power. So when you have indeterminate power, so you have to apply the logarithm technique. So first, begin with let the whole thing equal to y. The whole thing equal to y. So then you apply ln to the both sides. You apply the ln to the both sides. And for the left hand side, you have ln y only. For the right hand side, you have to drag the power to in front. So you have 1 over x and you have ln. Okay, ln 1 plus 2x. So then you add the limit to the both sided to both sided and then for the right hand side, you can see that basically I just uh, do some simple uh, rearrangement. So I will have 1 over x here. Then if you substitute the 0 inside, so you have a case of 0 over 0. When you have a case of 0 over 0, that is basically you can apply the log meter. So log meter says that you're going to differentiate the numerator. If you differentiate the numerator, you have 1 over 1 plus 2x. And you have 2x here, so this basically apply the chain rule. And for the denominator, you have 1. Just ignore the left-hand side, concentrate on the right-hand side. Now simplify them, so you will have this, this line. And then, let's just substitute the 0 inside, so you have 2 over 1. So don't leave your answer in this way. So change it back, okay? So... You will apply exponent to the both side. So you will have y equal to e2. Okay, e power of 2. And your answer should not be in terms of y. Remember just now we have let our y is equal to these questions. So change it back. So your y is 1 plus 2x power of 1 over x. So you change the y back. And then the right hand side, keep that one so. So then you have the answer for example one. Now let's just look at example two. So in example two, we have the limit x approaches to zero from the right, and we have five x power of x. So when you substitute the zero inside here, so you have a form of zero power of zero. So that is the form of indeterminate power. So when you have the form of indeterminate power. So you have to apply the technique of algorithm. So first of all, let 5x power of x equal to y. And then apply ln to both sided. So when you apply ln to both sided, left hand side you have ln y. For the right hand side you have x. You drag the x to in front, so we have x ln 5x. 
I'm going to add a limit to both sided. Then let's just see what happens if you substitute 0 into here. So when you substitute 0 here, you have a case of 0 multiplied with negative infinity. And then it means that you have to do a bit of um, manipulation such that you can continue. So what you have to do is you drag down the x, you become 1 over x. And let's just see what happens if we have the 0 in here. So you have ln 0 is negative infinity and you have 1 over 0 that is 1 over 0 is infinity also. So you have a form of negative infinity over infinity that is the time you can apply your L'Hopital rule. So let's just apply the L'Hopital rule. So when you apply the L'Hopital rule at the numerator part, you will have 1 over 5x with 5 and the denominator part will give you negative 1 over x squared. And let's just simplify it. Okay, so and simplify it again. And then we have the result of uh, the limit approaches uh, to the 0 from the right that is negative x. So when you have this one, so what you have what happens is when you substitute the x equal to 0 into here, you have the result of 0. But this is actually for the right hand side. How about the left hand side? The left hand side, you still have long y. So don't leave your answer in terms of long y. So you have to add exponent to the both sides. So when you add exponent to the both sides, you will have the y only at the left hand side for the right hand side you have e power of zero so this is not the final answer where you remember our question is actually in term of x so you have to change the y back so the y here so you have to change it back to 5x power of x so you change it here so then you will have the answer of the limit so this one is your five the y is 5x power of x and e power of 0 is actually give you 1. So this is the final answer for example 2. Now when you look at these discussion questions, you have the limit x approaches to infinity and you have 1 plus x power of 1 over x. So in this case, you substitute the infinity into here. So you have a form of 1 plus infinity power of 1 over infinity. So 1 plus infinity gives you infinity, 1 over infinity is actually 0. So you have infinity power of 0, that is this form. So that is the time you're going to apply the logarithm technique. So I want you to try on this question by your own and see whether you can get the answer that is equal to 1 or not. You try it yourself.